I got this RGH Xbox 360 for 50 bucks. It works great. It just needs a little more storage. So let's upgrade it to a two terabyte SSD. I'm gonna be following along with this guide and this guide by Mr. Mario, and you should too. He's really good at this. All we're gonna need is an RGH or JTAG Xbox 360, a new hard drive or SSD, a flash drive you don't mind formatting, and a hard drive caddy for either the slim or the fat model if you don't wanna open up your original one. First, we'll take out the original hard drive and we install the new drive. Then we're gonna go to settings, system, storage, and we're gonna press Y on the unformatted hard drive and we're gonna format it. You'll then have to input your system serial number, which you can find under console settings. Then go down to the bottom and you're gonna see system info. And at the top, you're gonna see your console serial number. And after it's done, you should see all of your new free space. Next, we're gonna plug the flash drive into the 360. Then under storage, you're gonna see the unformatted flash drive. Go ahead and press A on it and press customize. And then press yes. If for some reason it comes up blank, just go ahead and press Y and format it one more time. Then we plug the flash drive in the computer, and then we're going to download XEX menu, dash launch, and Aurora dash. Then we're going to open up the Aurora zip, create an Aurora folder, and we're going to extract the contents of the zips to that folder. Inside the XEX menu zip, we're going to find these two XEX menu RARs. We'll extract both of these. Then using a tool like 7-Zip, we're gonna go ahead and extract them to their own folders. And then we'll end up with two more folders. And then in the Dash Launcher Zip, we're gonna find the Installer and Cell Launcher folders, which we're gonna extract. And then we'll rename the Installer folder to Dash Launch. Then we're gonna take every folder except the XEX Menu Live folder, and we're gonna put it on the root of the flash drive. After they're done transferring, go to your View menu, go down to Show, and you're gonna tick Hidden Items. And that's gonna reveal your content folder. Open it. Then we're gonna create a new folder with 16 zeros inside of it. Then we're gonna open up the XEX menu live folder. We're gonna grab this code 9999 folder and we're gonna put it inside of the zero folder. And then we'll take the flash drive out of the computer and then we'll put it back in the 360. Then we go inside of the flash drive. We're gonna go into the demos folder here and we're gonna see the XEX menu. We're gonna select the XEX menu, press copy, and then it's gonna ask us to sign into an offline profile. After we sign into the profile, we're gonna go back and we're gonna press copy and we're gonna add it to the internal storage. Now we're gonna unplug the flash drive and set it to the side. We're gonna go to games, my games, and we're gonna select the XEX menu. Then we'll plug the flash drive back in. And then on the controller, we're gonna press the right bumper to take us to the flash drive. Then we're gonna highlight Aurora. We're gonna press the Y button and press A on copy. We'll press the right directional button to take us to the internal hard drive. And then we're gonna press Y. We're gonna go down to create and we're gonna create a folder called apps. Then we'll press A on the apps folder. We're gonna press Y one more time and we're gonna go to paste. And now it's gonna have Aurora in there. And then we're gonna go back to the flash drive and we're gonna copy over dash launch, Zell launch and XCX menu to the apps folder as well. And now we don't need the flash drive so we can put it away. Then we go to the apps folder, dash launch, and we're gonna open up the default.xex. Now we're gonna go to paths, we're gonna go down to default and press A. We're gonna go to HDD, we're gonna go to apps, we're gonna select Aurora, and we're gonna see the aurora.xex. And now with the aurora.xex set to default, if we press B, it's gonna boot immediately into the Aurora dashboard. And if it doesn't boot for some reason, go ahead and set the path again. You're gonna press the right bumper and you're gonna see the HD. You're gonna press X and you'll see it saving it to the hard drive. Keep in mind, if you go to network, it has Xbox Live blocked by default, which I'm gonna leave because I use this offline. Next, go back to Aurora and you're gonna press settings. Go down to content, set both of these options to auto scan and then under manage paths, press add, press select location, go to HDD1 and press Y to select apps. Change it to a depth of four, set it to applications, and press save. You want to do the same thing for any other directories that contain games, homebrew, or emulators, such as this configuration I made from a games folder. And now we've gone from the stock 250 gigabyte hard drive that's probably like 15 years old to a two terabyte SSD. Like and Ko-Fi and Patreon and stuff.